hi guys in this video we will learn how to use live wire click attribute so let's get started with the example so i will show you how to use it and real time example so if i go here i already created over here like post product create page so let me go here and you can see that there is already created live wire component and you can see that product create and inside the blad file you can see that i created simple form with the name price and detail okay and you can see that i also bind with the model so name price and detail with the model attribute okay and define the public variable over here now what i will do i will add over here reset button and when you click on reset button it will reset the value of the form right now i add something like this and if i click on reset button then reset the value of the form okay so what i will do simply go here and first of all i will do like i will add button and i will say btn btn danger and i will say mt3 and type will be button okay and here i will say reset simply save it okay and refresh it okay you can see that there is a re reset button okay now if i click on it form should be reset okay so now if i go here i will use live wire click attribute and when you click on it it should call reset form okay so if i click reset form and what i need to do product create and here i need to create one function so that's called public function that's called reset form and what i will do simply access this name variable should be empty same thing if i go and i will say price should be empty okay and same thing i will say detail should be empty okay save it okay and now if i go and refresh here i am adding any dummy data and click on reset you can see that form is reset using click attribute okay and i i can show you another things if i go here and i will remove the type button okay so simply save it okay and if i refresh it i will add some data over here and click on submit you can see that it's also submitting the form so page is refreshing so how can we ignore this as well so let me go here and here i will be add dot prevent so that means form will not going to submit and force refresh so let me go here and i will add some dummy data and click on it you can see that it's only remove the value from the form so you can see here how it's easily work so you understand how we can use live wire click attribute if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much guys